There must be bad blood brewing in Southeast Asia, and it's over Taylor Swift. The global superstar is set to play six sold-out shows at Singapore's National Stadium from March 2nd to March 4th, and from March 7th to March 9th, in what would be her only stop in the region. More than 300,000 tickets were sold for all six shows, with many fans flying to Singapore for the concerts. But she skipped the Philippines. Why did she skip the Philippines? You'll be surprised to learn that the reasons she skipped the Philippines were unexpected. Albay representative Joey Salceda, who leads the House Committee on Ways and Means, requested the Department of Foreign Affairs to send a formal letter to the Singaporean Embassy in Manila. The letter seeks an explanation as to why Taylor Swift chose to perform in Singapore but skip the Philippines. He was furious. He stated, I don't think we should just let things like this pass. We should still officially register our opposition. It also runs contrary to the principle of consensus-based relations on which the ASEAN was founded, referring to the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, the 10-member regional bloc whose members include the Philippines and Singapore. Filipino fans of Taylor Swift, also known as Swifties, can't help but feel disappointed and sad after Taylor Swift announced that she would only be stopping in Singapore and Japan for the Eras Tour. Her Filipino fans are among the singer's biggest fan base. Last year, Quezon City was listed as one of the top cities in the world that listened to her songs on Spotify, hoping she would return to the Philippines. After her last concert in 2014, her fans even arranged drag shows called Fan Nights. The Eras Festival in Manila last March and May, these events were petitions for Taylor to bring her tour to the country once more. If you're finding value in what I'm sharing, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Your likes help boost the visibility of this video so that more people can discover it. Since I launched this channel, I've never asked my viewers to subscribe or like my videos, but I want to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So please help me reach 100,000 subscribers. And thank you in advance for your support. Taylor seemingly skipping Manila for her heiress tour left thousands of Filipino fans dismayed, and rightly so. After all, Taylor's last visit to the Philippines was nearly a decade ago already. It was in 2014 when she made a stop in the country for the Manila leg of her Red Tour. She performed at the Mall of Asia Arena at that time. Although the fans made an effort, concert promoters confirmed that they would not be adding another Asian country. But due to overwhelming registrations for the tickets on the Singapore tour, they added another three show dates for next year. A total of six shows will be staged in Singapore. She'll be staying in Japan for four days. To cope with their sadness, these fans and even Filipino celebrities made it possible to mourn on social media. If you live in either Singapore or Japan, or if you're someone who can afford to fly to see her show abroad, you most probably did. Taylor Swift has a lot of Filipino fans who love her music, like Alan Villa. For Alan, seeing Taylor Swift perform live in concert is something he cannot miss. Even though he lives on Masbati Island, it's worth all the effort it takes to travel to see her. He'll have to take a four-hour boat ride to get to the main part of Luzon 
then a 12-hour bus ride to Manila, and finally a flight of more than 4 hours to Singapore. In the process, he'll probably spend several months worth of salary to attend the concert there on March 4th. Villa is just one of many Filipinos hopping into boats and buses, boarding planes and spending many months worth of salaries to see Swift on her record-breaking Eras tour. Joyce Blaza from Manila hoped to get tickets to the Singapore show, but after missing out, she chose to travel to the only other country in Asia included in the tour, Japan. Blaza convinced her husband, Lester, to turn the trip into a postponed honeymoon. After they got married, she agonized for months over whether or not she could get a visa or if her employer would grant her a long vacation. A doctor from Manila who is a Swifty from the very beginning, one concert was never going to be enough. She secured tickets to a show in Australia on February 25th and Singapore on March 7th. She could not travel for previous concerts because she was finishing med school. There are two primary reasons why Taylor Swift skipped her tour in the Philippines. Reason number one, and that's the main reason. Singapore sought exclusivity deal over Taylor Swift's concerts in Southeast Asia. Singapore sought a deal with Taylor Swift to prevent her from playing elsewhere in Southeast Asia. On her heiress tour, the Singaporean government offered subsidies of $3 million a show as part of an exclusivity agreement. The Singapore Tourism Board had supported the event through a grant. It said that it recognized there will be significant demand from Singaporeans as well as fans across the region for her to perform in Singapore. Officials in Singapore are excited about Taylor Swift's upcoming concerts because they believe they will attract a lot of tourists and help the tourism industry. Edwin Tong, the Minister for Community, Culture and Youth, mentioned that Swift's visit demonstrates the type of event Singapore wants to host to make both locals and tourists happy. Filipino lawmakers were angry. For instance, the chair of the House Committee on Ways and Means asked the Department of Foreign Affairs to send a letter to the Singaporean Embassy in Manila to explain the exclusive deal between Singapore and the production company behind the American pop superstars worldwide tour. The second reason is that the Philippines lacks bigger concert venues. The Swift tour skipped the Philippines because there was no venue large enough for the production. Recent concerts staged at the largest performance venue in the country. The 55,000-seater Philippine arena have been marked by major logistical problems like the lack of transportation options in and out of the area. Had the Swift tour also included the Philippines, just a third of the tourists that Singapore attracted would have spent 1.4 billion pesos in Philippine businesses, including food, airfare, and local transport. Assuming that the Philippines also matched the subsidy given by Singapore, even the full cost would have returned 10 times more in economic activity. 